Hey, stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Oh, Bill! Oh! Oh, monster! DGS monster! What's up, Bill? Dude, don't scare me like that, man. Bill, how you doing? Wow, bro. Yeah, I know. I'm scared, you know? Why are you coming here so early? Yeah, no, it's my boat, man. I know it's your boat, bro. I'm supposed to be taking it now. Yeah. You fix it? I'm gonna fix it oh, for you. Thank you. So if you can fix it, it's easy, you know? Yeah, but I'm gonna let you fix it now because you just got here. So let's do this. Uh, okay. DGS Monster, guys, we're doing this. Making a scene, as always. <laughs> let's go, baby. Dude. All right. So, deck, okay. The, that's the deck, okay. The tubes, tubes. Th that's the cone. Okay, shine. Okay. All right. Here was the scratch. Scratch? No, that's a problem. T C H. Uh huh. T C H. There you go. Yeah. Scratch. What happened if the scratch penetrates it? If it gets real bad? Oh. Interesting. So it's a whole separate section. Okay, so there's a cavity in there that's filled with foam. Oh, wow. Okay. So the water so the whole, okay. goes and here's fill. And, and you're still fine. You will still float perfect. Well, my friends, that is, what, what's up, Bill? Bill from DGS Monster. So let me go ahead and, uh, always we do the craziest intros. Right, long time to see you, my friend. So, long time. so Bill, listen, you called me. We've done a video on this particular 28 foot DGS Monster. We did a really cool video out in the water by Hallover. And now we have a nice little story that you think is very good for them to know so they can see what happened to this because you guys had a situation happen when you were doing a sea trial with a potential customer. Correct. Correct. So show me exactly what happened. Yeah, I was making a test drive uh, with a professional client like uh, two weeks ago. And in the middle of the test drive, the pilot catch a big rock underwater. So it was a very strong um, hit mm -hmm. from the boat. And you can see the damage here, you know? So make a, a deep um, um, scratch. scratch. Ooh. So, yes. so it went along the entire... Yeah, you can see here. What? I need to put my finger here, no? Yeah, and the hole is still... But that's not it. That's not just what was damaged. You guys also have, when they hit that giant rock, they also lost a, a lower unit in the process, right? Yeah, this is the, the lower unit from the boat. You can see uh, how strong was the impact. So, so let me ask you something. Was anybody ejected or thrown off of the boat once you guys were doing that sea trial? Nobody got thrown off when it boom, boom. No, no, it was very smooth, the impact, because as you know, the, the hole absorbs the energy from, okay. the, from the, the rocks or everything. So we start to smell a very um, uh, hydro, um, lower unity oil very acid and then when you put the when you tilt up the engine mm -hmm. you see this little scratch <laughs> no that's not a little scratch yeah that is a that is a yeah, suzuki let, let, let's check lower the unit transom, no? because when you have a stretch like, like this the transom broke no? yeah, yeah you know? so so guys i'm going to show you guys a little bit and what you're hearing in the background is that is tool the, that they're going to use to restore new, that uh, so this is the one that you just swapped out with the one who, that was just broken. Yeah. So here you can see the the impact zone that 
means uh, nothing. No? You can see inside. So, do you think if this were a fiberglass boat, you think that the impact that you guys felt would have damaged the yeah. transom some in a I regular have boat? No doubt with a uh, fiberglass hull uh, will be a, a submarine. No? You'll be, you, think, <laughs> you think you'll be under? Oh no, you'll be on the socials. Yeah, this is the, the, the thickness of the hull is like a, more than a three quarter. You see the. the no, the thickness. And uh, so I believe this is better to, uh, to show the people that um, it's very easy to, to, to fix this boat. No? It's, uh, you don't have a special skill like a professional aluminum welder, a special place. You can do it in any place. And look uh, how the boat is. So the boat is on the floor. I don't have a special crate. Nothing, no? speaking, of that, speaking of that, now that we have the boat, now that we have the boat out of the water, I know that there's a viral video that I saw on the YouTube channel Boat Zone mm -hmm. that you were crashing Here. the front of the boat on purpose yeah. to show, and that's where you were rubbing up against the rocks. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I remember you told me in the past um, was that these boats are meant to, I mean, to basically be aggressive with them. I remember when we did our first video, mm -hmm. the first thing we did in the beginning of the video is <laughs> you're like, throw an anchor, do whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And I was like, no, man, we're going to ruin it. He goes, no, we're, we yeah. are monsters. That's what yeah. you told me. We are monsters. We have a 250 hours. And the boat stays perfect, no? And it's a lot no, easy because you, you see here the scratches that is natural, no? When you use the boat. So it's nice to show that it, I like this scratch, no? Because it looks beautiful. Uh, but if you, can, if you want to take this off, it's easy. You can no. fix it, right? Oh, no, look, this. This is scraper, okay? Okay. Regular one. You know, right. No way, you gotta be kidding me! That's it? No? Now you heat it up. Oh man, this is gonna be an interesting video, guys. See? Now I know why you say I like this, it looks beautiful. <laughs> So essentially, anybody could do their own repairs. Look, this is the interesting thing, right? Where is this Wow, that's nuts. It's nuts. It's nice, you know? Nice and smooth. Now, do you have to heat that or you can leave it like that and it'll just be normal? Like this, no? That is crazy. So less than less than a minute. You just fix. Yeah, you look. This is your to, oh, to get beautiful. M make a nice sharp edge if you yeah, want. Look to to give it the black nice. and gray. No, you can do this. Like in the wood, you know. I'm already seeing those like buttons being smashed. So. All right, so now this, where, where we got on the bottom of the boat, that's, that's, a, deep, that's a deep scratch. Correct. Are you going to fill that with something? Do you yeah, have only, to... Only the, the deep places, sir, because if you have like a two or three millimeters, a quarter inch, okay. no, not a quarter inch, but uh, one eight, All right. okay, leave it. It's better. You it's, it's nothing. It's, it's not yeah, going to affect the boat. It's like a hummer. It's not a... No crunchy boat, <laughs> beautiful, we have to polish. It's a monster. Don't it's a monster. Water, don't care if this is for the water. Yeah. The water if you have scratch, no scratch is the water. Okay, so let me ask you, so what are you gonna fill that? The the the, the deep parts in yeah. you're gonna this, fill this it with is something? The, the same material. 
you can see this like a rod. Okay. No, it's a special, of course, a special material, but it's, it's plastic, no? Okay. And this goes in this machine. Which has been heating up for a minute, yeah. right? You see here? I put here or here. This is a hot air. Okay. Hot air. So this air uh, prepares the surface for the the temperature. Okay. The, 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 um, for the gun. Temperature. Okay. And then they. And then you just slide it through in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it'll it'll melt it, and then you you put it on the areas yeah, which are deep. Yeah, you do like a, a fusion. Fusion, fusion, fusion. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna see that. Now that I, this is my first time here at the location, I wanna see some other boats that I haven't seen and we're gonna yeah, let that heat up. So yeah, this is the new model. So okay. this, this is what us? Uh, this is, yeah, this is not the monster, this is DGS. When is DGS? Uh, defense is a military version or law enforcement version. Okay. This boat belongs to a security company, a private security company. So the boat is almost done um, and we have some you can see here. So what size is this boat, Bill? This is 26. This is a 26 yeah. foot and it's a DGS. Yeah, it's a DGS 777. DGS 777 and ISI is the name of the company. Okay. So uh, the DGS 777 in the Monster line is the Monster 26. So we have the Monster now, the 23, mm -hmm. 26. 30 because you don't have more 28 it's 30 okay so the 28 this is the last one that you guys make now yes, it goes correct. up to 30 now the new one is 30 okay and then 33 36 and the new 41 it's a big one so show me the smaller one because there's a smaller one here yeah, let I me go show, uh, there is a, in terms of things, look, let me see what we, we want to customize the boat for the clients you know, because this is the difference so we we put the logo for the company here look at this one. Oh, nice Wow. So it's a very custom boat, no? That is badass. So this is going to be a private security company that's going to have correct, services correct. for the water. Yeah, yeah. Don't look at the hot boat, okay? No. Nah. <laughs> You're only testing. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Look at the, the rod holders and everything. So, okay. I want to give them an idea of how... So you guys are building these in Brazil? Correct. Only the hull. Only the hull, and then you do all the assembly here in America. Correct. Yes. Okay. So, so this came here by ship. Uh -huh. We bring to Miramar this facility, oh, okay. and then we assemble the boat. I put the uh, electronic um, fuel tanks, fuel line, um, everything, electrical, hydraulic, everything. So this is a model that I think a lot of people are gonna resonate with, and it's the 22 DGS Monster. And um, I think this is a badass little boat. So you guys are starting to assemble this one now Correct. for the customer, and I saw recently you guys had a red one that you just sold to somebody locally because I seen it already yeah, on the water. The, the owner from uh, La Granja, it's a resp restaurant, La Granja. La Granja, yes, La Granja. yes, I'm familiar yeah, with it. The owner from La Granja, and it's also, red. Yeah. The PVC. What, well, okay, so it's not PVC. What material is this? It's a um, it's an engineering um, uh, polymer uh, compound. So it's 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 a, it's a special kind of plastic. Okay, uh, we made this this material, this raw material in Brazil, and uh, very strong uh, with a, a huge. Uh, cycle of life so mm -hmm. a boat like this we can use like a 40 years 45 years 50 years and uh, we change the color applying the red okay this like this this is white now oh so you yeah. you can you can put a wrap on it and make it white to yeah, control white the temperature or any color, yes or any color you oh want. okay interesting yeah. only to know the the 22 is like a, a it's a spin-off. It's, it's only one boat. The new one is 23, okay? But okay. It's, yeah, this is waiting for a client. <laughs> so there's, there's going to be now a 23 as opposed to a 22? Yeah. Okay. Because it's wider, it's better than this. No, but... Yes, okay. But, yeah. All right, guys. So, all right. Let's, uh, let's show them how to do that repair. Um, guys, these things, when you see them out on the water. Look, this is going to be a security company. 
Can you imagine a security company, a private security company, um, pulling up on one of these to go ahead and, and do private security for a mega yacht while you're in the water and you see this monster coming, you know, 48 to 51 miles an hour at you? <laughs> Guys armed. Wow, sick. So, all right. So I want to show them this whole process and uh, Bill's going to go ahead and do the repair. Yeah, this is a mode tool. It's a rep all the equipments are, you can buy in any place, like Home, Home Depot, Depot yeah. yeah. It's, it's a multi-tool, okay? Uh, the, the first thing I have to do is to put all the same, the same level. So mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to take this off, okay? So okay. A nice little chunk that is a nice little chunk can i save that as a memory <laughs> <laughs> thank you yes <laughs> bill when the captain that that uh that hit the rock Saw the lower unit busted. What did he tell you? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. The first time they bought us, it was nothing. <laughs> so, oh, I believe it's nothing too. So when you saw it, oh. Wow. That's a big impact, guys. For that your lower unit to go ahead and just explode like that, that's crazy stuff. So, Alfred, look at this. You see this scratch? Look, look. I live like this. No, I don't. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, it's just okay. So if you yeah, wanted, you, you, can, you can, can leave it that. Yeah, that. You don't have to sand it look, if you didn't want if to. If you want, look. You know, you're making me really like this boat even more now. Because, because I think I think people who buy a boat like this is because. They really like to push the limits, beach the boat, go anywhere, and if they don't have to worry about, am I gonna mess it up? Who's gonna fix it because I have no one around me? Dude, you'll be out of here in no time. Just like that. So those areas you don't even have to fill with Look, anything because rock. they weren't even bad. Look here, the rock. Oh, there's a rock in there. Can I have the rock too? <laughs> <laughs> Only the pounder. <laughs> Maybe I'll take it back to the captain who crashed the boat. I know who you are. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I asked it to the guy if they can dive to recover my propeller. It's five hundred dollars. Oh, so you <laughs> lost the prop too? Yeah, Listen, you want you want me you want me to go back and get it? I'll get it. I'll go get it, man. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I like doing recovery. I don't have both. I don't have both. So right here, this looks like a pretty deep impact right here. Yeah. So here you're going to have to fill, right? Yeah, correct.
Bill, so anybody can fix these boats then. Anybody can fix this. You don't have to have... No, no, it's easy, man. It's nice. It's like, it's a therapy. Now, okay, so let's just say that you don't have that, that particular um, heat gun that you're using to fill it, right? Yeah. They can do the same thing with maybe like a torch and no. and no? No. No. So this you need to have point. it. You have to, yeah. Oh, so you need to have this gun. Yes. You have a so so you guys you guys sell this gun? Oh, so you have you have a smaller one. Yeah, yeah. This is for two oh. things. Oh, okay. So this is a you small can, one. Yeah, you can uh, use this to You can use to heat, mm -hmm. okay? You set the temperature here. Okay. And you, and you turn it on. So we can like uh, preheat okay. the place to, to, to warm it up a little bit. To help, you know? But this, this machine has the, the heat too. You know? So how do you know when it's ready for you to start putting the plastic inside of it? Is there like a temperature gauge yeah. or something? In fact, we have a temperature gun. Okay. You know, like a, the laser. Yeah. But I make because I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know? So so you're, through your experience, he, he, he knows when the temperature so is right. Like, um, and there's more parts only to know because, of course, I spend a little time to make this. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the the worst part. Yeah, this is where that yeah. deep hole was. Yeah. So uh, there is a lot of contaminant here. You have rock. You have many things here. No. So what I do uh, is to clean this mm -hmm. with a scraper. That's a pretty nasty hole, man. Yep. Have you guys done comparison tests on like say fiberglass? Yeah. As opposed we to have some some tables that mm -hmm. we can we can uh, So you drop have... stuff on it yeah, and you can yeah, see the difference yeah. between what happens when it's plastic yeah. as opposed to when it's fiberglass or any other mm -hmm. you know glass yeah, product? We have. Guys, for that for that lower unit to bust like this, that is <laughs> that is one epic memory. I'll tell you that much. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see how he preps this up because I, I definitely want to see. All right, what's inside there? What chemical? What? Oh, acetone. Okay, good. So that's acetone. Oh, that's Home Depot acetone. I, I, I've used that one before. All right, clean strip.
got it good, man. They got it real, real good, dude. Yeah, after clean, do not touch the area because oils you, know, and you all have that. oil in your yeah. finger, no? Cool. Do I gotta stay away from this or anything like that? Is this gonna... <laughs> I don't wanna go... Now what you're doing, you're just using the, yeah, the heat you from know, the actual you know gun. I have here hot hair, no? Okay. Hot hair here. Yeah. So I have to put it in here. Léo, viu um ponteiro, sabe aquele ponteiro? Mas aquele fininho, aquele que é... So now, how do you know when you've preheated enough, Bill? I show you. Okay. So I what, it, yeah, I want, I, want them, I want them to know what they're looking for. Yeah. Because they might do this with a smaller gun just to... So is the little hole, are you, are you trying to see how soft it's getting the, the plastic? Is that Correct. why you're doing the, the, the hole? Exactly. So you're going to feel it get a little soft on you once you mm -hmm. have it enough heated. Now, when they, when they do these um, seams, like these seams above at the factory, is it a similar process, Bill? Yes. It's, it, is, it is. Very yeah, similar it is. process. Yeah, of the boat is made with this machine. Really? Yeah. Wow. You weld all the boat. So all the entire the boat. boat is welded yeah. with this machine. Mm -hmm. Wow. So essentially, you can do repairs of this with this machine anywhere in the world. Sure. With a video just like this. Mm-hmm. Now, would that type of hole right there be a concern for you on this boat? If you were, like, if you had to do an emergency, you know, trip out on the water, would it, would it make you uncomfortable, a hole that size? No? No problem. All right, guys. So you're pushing in now with, with your shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. Getting a nice push in there. That's some interesting stuff, man. Oh, I already see the whole process. Now this will dry. You scrape, scrape, sand, off to the beach.
There it is. So I have to, to wait to cool. All right. And then put the machine. Mm -hmm. It's ready. For, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, but I like this scratch. This was a good scratch. Yeah. It's too good to, to the stress. No? Okay. When you are very stressed, you can hear and scratch all the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a cat right now. Yeah. You know what? It's surprisingly smooth. Yeah. When you're when you're up here doing this. So and, and anything is uh, is dangerous for your health. This is dangerous, it's not no, no, dangerous. No, nothing here. Okay. You can eat this. It's plastic. So uh, we don't have fumes, you don't have light, you don't have to use a mask, a special kind of air. You don't know. You can see? can I get like a screwdriver? So I, I'm dirty now. Can I can I get a screwdriver and put King of Hall over on the side of the boat? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well listen. No, you have to We're gonna go and continue but, but, this. We don't have to make Correct. No, no, I don't want to do it perfect. I want okay. it to be like this so you guys know it was me that did it. No, 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 I have to, to send. Oh, you're going to send it now? Yeah, of course, all it's right, ugly, all right. you know. All right, all right, all right. You're calling my work ugly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very deep, no? Yeah, this side is a yeah, little deeper. Is, uh, it became much better, no? Try try it with the center now. Oh no, the battery. No battery. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> there goes my finger. Go. <laughs> Sorry. It man. only happens when you have messed up hands. <laughs> Alright. I see the guys in the back already worried. What a shame. I can see where if I would have scraped, but if I would have scraped a little bit harder here, yeah. I can I can easily get it off yeah. with with this you and that because it, yeah. it, it wasn't too bad. Pretty interesting how you can essentially. I mean, this boat is not meant to to, to fix these scratches, yeah. and one of the reasons why they called me is to show that you can kind of do this yourself if you really wanted to. Um, okay, so now, 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 you're, now you're using bigger grit. I would want my safety glasses. And it's gone. And all right. So just like that, you can fix the whole entire boat. Yeah. If you wanted to make it look good for like a wedding or something. <laughs> not a wedding, not a wedding. <laughs> Alright, stop. I, I want to do the edge. This is what I want to do. I want to do the edge. There you go. So you come over here and you make a nice little line. There you go. Nice little line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so you have even another tool. All right. So look, here, so they can see. 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Damn. I'm getting hit up here. Come on, people. <laughs> all right, guys, look at the tools that you, all you need. You need this and the multi-tool from, and then, all right, so uh, say, say a company has, you know, a fleet of these boats. They got a guy or, or guys, women, whoever, maintaining this particular thing. How much would one of those guns cost them? One of these here. Yeah, the, the, all the machines, like the Home Depot machines. About, no, that's, yeah, that's, um, that's, that's stuff. I'm talking about the machines. Yeah, the machine, you can, you can buy a small one. Okay. It's about uh, no. 2500 Okay. So with, with, with a small machine, can you fix something that deep? Yes. You can. Yes. You can it's, it's harder you can, though. You cannot um, build a boat. You can't build a boat. Okay. So the one that builds a boat, how much is something like that? It's uh, five, seven grand. Yeah, seven. Seven thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Okay. So you guys know already more or less between five and seven thousand dollars for just that, that machine. But he's saying that you can do it for twenty five hundred bucks with that machine, with the, the smaller one. Now, what's what's a repair job? Assuming right now a customer that's this is obviously your demo boat. If a customer were to come and says, hey, Bill, I need to fix my boat. I gave it to my 15-year-old kid. He hit a reef out in the intercoaster somewhere, broke my lower unit. Notice how it's a 15-year-old, guys. It's not, it's not, it's not. You know who you are. No, I, just, I know who you are. No. All right, so how much would that cost for like a repair like this right now? If you had to charge a customer to do it the right way, a repair like yeah, this it, from you guys, more yeah. or less. If the if the if the client uh, pay the um, the tickets the transport mm -hmm. it's free. So you guys will do that if somebody does this locally you you'll okay. service it yeah. as only the transportation no. like if you have okay. to take a plane or oh wow to, or to hand a hotel and nothing okay yeah wow okay so that's just a quick service for you guys you know to do something like yeah. this you'll do this because, in maybe, you know, maybe an hour two hours we have more than uh, hundred boats. Okay. This is the second time in 14 years. That you've had to do a repair like this? Two times in 100 boats in 14 years. Wow. So and it's you guys, very, you guys, very unique. You got, and you guys have a very big military presence that use this sure. boat in Brazil. Yeah. So where can they go online to get more information about DGS Monster? I'm going to refer you guys to the other video right yes. that we did because it was a, an interesting video you see actually this boat on the water mm -hmm. and um you guys can spec it out with mercury suzuki whatever you all like this. um all the electronics as well what is what the new 30 what does the new 30 cost the new 30 yeah the hole starts in uh, 150. the, the hole okay so we have to put the engines you have to put the um, so well well specced out well specced out more or less nice Nice. Nice. With shock seats, everything, 250. So 250 for a 30 footer with twin ends, engines, more or less? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Good. What about the 26 and the 22? The 26 about uh, 100, 180. 180. Okay. 180. And the 22, 100. 100. Okay. Give them a website where they can go or your contact information yeah, so they can reach out. Monster.com. We info. are monsters. Yeah, we're the monsters. We are the monsters. <laughs> I, know, I love it when he says that. Okay, so DGSMonster.com. Yes. You want to give your, your own personal email or phone number so they can call you here in Miramar? Mm. Go do it. Might as well no, have gling, 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 gling. And my, my personal number? <laughs> no, my email. It's Abilio. It's A-B-I-L-I-O at DGSDefense.com. All right, guys. Well, listen, I want to thank the team over here at DGS Monster for inviting me here to their facility where they assemble all these. And what I like personally is that they're assembling and they got workers here working in America. So um, that's a big thing for me over here. So don't forget to check out the other videos, guys. Alfred Montaner, Bill, and the rest of the cast, guys. Thank you so much. Tell them to subscribe. Tell them to subscribe, man. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Look at my hands. I'm working. I'm working. Oh! Here, 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 here. Ha!
wrong! You yeah. were no, in no, there! No, hit the boat, but with love, okay? With love. With, with love? <laughs> oh, you don't want to repair it again? No, wait, 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 no, no, no. You know, I actually, hold on, no, no, all right. Uh, like I just, a, I just did this in Disney World. Like a monster! World. Like, like a monster! A monster. I dropped the mic, baby. I'm out of here. Alfred Monster to make a scene. As always. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember amazingness. That's what we do.